has Amari added a, a really dynamic element to what Dallas does in the past game? Uh, well, you see, you know, you got a really small sample size of it, but uh, they definitely were trying to target him and get, get him the ball. Uh, gave him a couple outlets uh, when people were stacking the box. You know, he, they're getting the ball to him on some um, RPOs. Um, you know, he's a guy that they're going to they're gonna game plan to get him the ball. It's always tough to wait for your number to be called. Uh, have you been impressed by how Rasul has handled waiting for the opportunities to come this year that, that he got more of last year? He seemed to handle it very professionally. Yeah, um, yeah. I think the position that he's in, that's what you know. That's what we're asking of him. Um, and I think you know, quite quite honestly, he goes beyond that. I mean, he's uh, preparing, you know, not only to play corner in case something happens. He's, he's playing all the special teams and then you know safety uh, and all these different things. So uh, it's that's tough to ask anybody, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a situation we're in, and, and like I said, he's handled it as a professional, and, and he's been in there and been prepared, and it's all of it's happened. You know, he's, he's been at all of those spots, so it's it's definitely a necessity at this point. What have you seen from Dallas's offense throughout the course of the year? I mean, they you know they're going to ride Zeke's back. I mean, he's he's the best player they have on offense, and um, you know, so he's gonna he's gonna get his touches. You got to be able to, to you know eliminate that. He he helps get them in better, you know, manageable third downs. Uh, obviously, the home runs and he can tire defenses out. So if you don't stop him first and foremost, you have a long day. Um, but you know, Dak is I think taking it the next step when it comes to throwing from the pocket and, and, and being able to fit throws into coverage. He's not waiting for you know a wide open guy. He can actually you know, challenge and test your, your secondary. So uh, and Cole Beasley is a guy. He's, he's a elusive route runner. He, he's been their, their guy all year who's you know been open a lot of times. Sometimes the ball doesn't get to him, but uh, he, he's, he's there to make plays. And now you you add him on a Cooper, uh, and I think that's it creates a little bit of balance. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Yeah. We all saw the last game. Uh, a lot of us heard what Troy had to say. The quotes of that Jerry Jones disappointed. They're, they seem like a really desperate team. How, how tough is? I mean, that's that's not a the, the greatest situation to be in, right? I mean, playing I mean, a real. I mean, how do you look at that whole thing? I look at our record. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, we're four and four. It's not like you know where the where we want to be right now. So. Um, yeah, I could care less about them being desperate in the situation there. And right now, quite frankly, we feel like, um, you know, we got our backs against the walls with everything to play for. You're giving up 28 sacks, I think, this year. Mm -hmm. A lot of sacks. So, obviously, you miss Travis Frederick immediately. But that's something you want to try to get to early to get to him. And they kind of faded uh, last week yeah. after that. Yeah, I think anytime we have success on defense, we get pressure on the quarterback. We get hits on the quarterback. Uh, that was the case, especially last last game, uh, early in the game. Being able to get sacks, um, you know, puts them in third and longs, and then we have success on third down. So we got to find ways to either get negative runs or some um, hits on the quarterback early in the downs uh, to, to help us you know, get off the field. Uh, but he's an elusive guy. We also giving up a lot of quarterback scrambles. I mean, like the most leading rushes against was the quarterback. So we got to find a way to make sure that we're rushing uh, with discipline, keeping it in the pocket, and we got a chance to get him on the ground. So how much tougher does that make making sure that Dak doesn't do that when they also have a guy like Zeke? Uh, I mean, you know, we can we can handle design quarterback runs. It's, it's more so uh, the, the scrambles. Uh, so we, we do a good job. We pride ourselves in trying to stop the run. Um, but, you know, sometimes what you can't control is you know, a four-man rush. You got everybody covered and the quarterback takes off. That's just something that just takes discipline with the, with the four guys that are rushing. It takes um, uh, population to the football. When he does, you know, pull it down and run, we got to get everybody uh, pursuing to the football and try to get him down before the sticks. You mentioned how Dak was taking, took some steps forward. But I, I feel like... Two years ago or three years ago when Carson and Dak were rookies, you heard that comparison a lot. And you haven't heard that as much since, probably because Dak's stats have dropped off. So what are we or what is the public not seeing about Dak that, that you're noticing? Uh, well, I think the cast is a little bit different than, than you know what he had that year um, that would make anybody look good. You know, Zeke was that a year he was leading, leading Russian. 
Yeah, Jason Witten, Darius Bryant, you know, he's playing well, Cole Beasley in the best offensive line in the, in the league at the time. You know, and I think when you look at the team now, it's just, that's just not the case. When you talk about this, this, uh, the surrounding cast, so I think that changes everybody. Um, and plus the league catches up to you, you know, it's, it's just how it goes. Uh, so, but when you look at small things in the development of a quarterback, whether it's the accuracy, the ability to throw the, throw the ball against pressure or, um, you know, get in and out of checks, um, I think we've seen a little bit of maturation and being able to, to throw the ball, like I said, into tight coverage, throw it into some windows and make accurate throws. He's able to do that um, if you allow him. It's always, it's always taken double digit years to win the division. Mm -hmm. This year, I don't know. I mean, a lot of a lot of teams with a lot of losses. Would that surprise you if it was less than that? Considering, uh, you know what I mean? And the Redskins, they got injury problems. Yeah. You, know, you guys are. Four losses, We're right in the thick. Yeah. We, we won't we won't go beyond this week. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, you know, we, we look up. Everything's right in front of us. Uh, everybody's banged up, including us. Um, but that didn't change the opportunity. We feel like we have uh, all the opportunity in the world to, to snatch the division. But it starts this week. To practice in, how does uh, Craven LeBlanc fit in with the uh, defense? Um. I think he's going beyond uh, expectations. I think uh, you know, it's, he's coming right in off the off the street, uh, trying to learn a new playbook, uh, new language, um, terminologies, techniques, communication. So it's it's a lot, but I think he's done doing it well. I think when it comes down to this, your ability to cover a guy, um, he has that. So it's really just about getting them lined up, getting them used to the verbiage and uh, all of the calls. Once he gets that, I think he'll fit, fit right in. And how difficult is that for you and for the rest of the defense, communication-wise, with everyone staying on the same page, having someone come in so quickly? Well, I think it, it puts a lot of emphasis on how we communicate in our meeting rooms and how we watch the tape together and see it so that when we get on the field, uh, yeah, it's not the first time you know we're, we're talking about things. Um, and you kind of have a little bit of anticipation as to what's coming. But communication, especially from myself and, and all the other safeties, Avante, Corey, whoever's out there, uh, is, is going to be to make sure everybody's lined up, settled, and, and, and confident in what we're running. You have a long history with uh, Sproles. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to talk to him since he had the latest setback insurance? Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I think I think as a team, you know, it's, it's disappointing. Uh, we were excited to, to get him back. I know he's had a long rehab after last year. Um, to fight back and then you know, started this year with a hamstring and then to have another setback. Uh, I know for him is probably difficult uh, when for anybody really when, when injuries start to stack up like that. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, he can control, he can only control what, what, what he can control and that's, you know, his rehab and, um, you know, hopefully staying encouraged.